Peggy 12. Of the trillions slain by the murderous robotic peacekeepers known as the Manhunters, Atrocitus was among the five survivors. These survivors formed a terrorist group called the Five Inversions, who waged war against the Peacekeeper's creators, the Guardians, but were defeated and imprisoned. The rage of Atrocitus could not be confined, and he broke free, butchering his fellow Inversions to fashion the first Red Power Ring. So armed, his war on the Guardians began anew. Atrocitus is a disruptive enforcer who unleashes furious might on unsuspecting foes. His passive is Red Lantern's Rage, which damages nearby enemies with power damage when attacked. Atrocitus is fueled by his rage, replacing the Will Meter with a Rage Meter. His basic attacks fill his Rage Meter, as does damage from enemy drones and champions. After several seconds without gaining Rage, the meter will begin to drain. Atrocitus' skills normally have no cost. But at half rage or more, his skills become enraged, consuming half of his maximum rage and adding a bonus effect. Use Crimson Slash to empower his next basic attack, granting additional power damage and slowing the target's move speed. If enraged, the power damage and slow are dealt to all enemies near the target. You can taunt nearby drones to attack Atrocitus for a few seconds by using Come At Me. While active, Atrocitus receives a flat damage reduction that increases with his missing health. When enraged, Come At Me greatly increases the frequency of Red Lantern's Rage. Overwhelming Rage fills an enemy champion with Rage, forcing them and Atrocitus to charge each other. When the two collide, Atrocitus deals power damage and briefly roots his enemy. If enraged, he taunts the champion and trades basic attacks for a few seconds. Atrocitus and his enemy hit with increased attack speed and reduced attack damage. His ultimate is Plasma Wave. Atrocitus spews a cone of deadly plasma, increasing the enemy's incoming damage and dealing power damage over time. Playing as Atrocitus is all about managing Red Lantern's Rage. Atrocitus plays best when he can open a fight with Rage, so, before moving to attack, try to wipe out a drone wave or jungle camp. When jungling, take Crimson Slash first and use it to quickly clear two easy drone camps. Next, at level 2, take Overwhelming Rage and look for gank opportunities in nearby lanes. A great early gank combo is to open with an empowered Overwhelming Rage and then follow up with Crimson Slash. If no nearby enemies are vulnerable to ganks, continue jungling to hit level 3 and take Come At Me. In general, it's best to save Plasma Wave for teamfights when your damage-focused allies can follow up on it. This is because enemies hit by Plasma Wave take increased damage from all sources, but also because it fills your Rage Bar and allows you to disrupt enemy damage dealers with Overwhelming Rage or Crimson Slash. Atrocitus benefits greatly from armor, power damage, and cooldown reduction. Atlantean Royal Seal and Cosmic Belt are excellent artifacts for almost any situation. If you're after durability, consider Fragment of Mogo, Eclipso's Diamond, and Rachel Ghoul's Robe. For more damage, try Blue Scarab, Cosmic Belt, and the Starheart. Finally, Olympus Gambit or Amulet of Isis can both provide solid utility for aiding your allies. Atrocitus' Meteor Drop slows enemies it hits in addition to dealing damage. It's great for the extra slow, making ganks using Overwhelming Rage and Crimson Slash even stronger. Rip your enemies apart with Plasma and Fury as Atrocitus, leader of the Red Lanterns.